What's going on everyone? Garnet Walters here again, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Before I get into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to all the subscribers. Thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and also press on the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. So I received the question the other day about how to use monochords and how to apply them in other keys. Um, the way to go about doing this is just knowing your numbers. So you have your major scale, and I'm going to use C as an example. All right, that's the C major scale. So each scale degree has a number. So C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, A is 6, B is 7, and back to C, which is 1 again. Now, with every scale degree, there's a chord behind it. So... C is 1, which is major, D is 2, which is minor, E is 3, and that's minor, F is 4, and that's major, G is 5, and that's major, A is minor, and that's the 6, B is 7, and that's the diminished chord, and then we end up back at C. So, if you're in the key of C, you have something called relative minor and relative minor is the sixth scale degree so you can go like this count to six and there will be a minor or you could just go down three half steps so you start on C and then one two three and that's again a minor Another way you can get to minor chords is something called parallel minor. So that's just simply playing C major and then dropping them third and you get C minor. Now to use this, you have to know the numbers and that's really important. Because once you know the numbers, you can put them in any other key. So if I were to go to the key of E, I'll have E as the 1, F sharp as the 2, G sharp as the 3, A as the 4, B as the 5, C sharp as the 6, D sharp as 7, and E back to the 1. So the same thing applies. So a shortcut in knowing what the minor chords are is just knowing that the two chord, the three chord, and the six chord are all minor. And you can take that concept into any other key. So right now I'm using triads. So now when you add the seventh, you have more color. So now let's say I want to use A minor. Now, if I have A minor here, the A minor can be a two. And if it's gonna be the two, that means that I'm in G major. Now, let's say I'm using the A minor again and the A minor is gonna be the three. So, if I know that A minor is going to be the 3, that means that I'm in the key of F. Now, if I have A minor 7 here again, and I'm using that as the 6, using that as a six there so it's important to know what number you're going to use for that minor chord so once you know the numbers you can just put them in any key so again as a review 
uh, your relative minor is the sixth chord in the major scale. Then you have your parallel minor, which is just taking a major chord and then making it minor. And then finally, using the numbers to recognize where the minor chords are. So the minor chords in the major scale are the tooth chord, the three chord, and the sixth chord. I'd like to thank you for checking out today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also in my descriptions, I have my contact information for my website and social media. Thanks for checking out the video and have a great day.